Welcome back. We'll be looking at Euler's formula today and how it relates to the standard polar form that we are used to. So in order to do that, let's uh, bring up the, the polar form. And now we have it. And just remember, a quick reminder, we're going to be looking at this as though it were the unit circle. We'll be using radians. And z, I just wrote out an arbitrary one. It can be anywhere. Uh, z will just be somewhere on the edge of the circle, OK? It could have been anywhere. It's just easier to show it right here where we're kind of used to it. Now I'll give myself a little room here and write it up there. In order to do this, we're going to do it just the way Euler did. And it's a, it's a very old relationship. They discovered this over 200 years ago now. So um, here we have z. And it's equal to cosine v plus i sine v. Now let's take the derivative of it. And here's where it gets kind of fun. Now you're used to taking the derivative of sine and cosine. And this first part is, is kind of easy. But what we're going to do then is we're going to take this negative sign here, negative sine v, and we're going to do this to it. Okay, We've just rearranged it a little bit. Don't worry about that. Uh, it, it'll become apparent why we're doing that. So once we have that, just remember that uh, i squared is equal to minus 1, because here's the next step. Now, we have that, and we're going to change it into that. Okay, Otherwise, we didn't do anything. Then we're going to factor out an i from each position there and put it out here. Now, look at this. That is that. It's what we started with. Now, that's an interesting relationship. So let's. Let's clean that up. OK, we have uh, i times z. In other words, OK, here's our z somewhere on the, the circle. And when you take multiply it by i and then take the derivative, you'll see that it's the same thing. OK, now let's, let's take another step. Let's develop this a little bit further here. If we say this, that let z be equal to this. Now, the reason this is true is a film unto itself. Just remember that f of x, when it is e to the x, remember that f prime of x is equal to e to the x. Okay, That's the basis for being able to do this move here. And that's another movie. I don't want to take too much time for that. You'll, you'll see that later. So that being said, what happens then when we take the derivative? Well, you know from earlier math that if this is your function and you take the derivative of it, you get that. Okay, And that means that z prime is equal to i times z, which is what we said. So if you have this as your solution to that differential equation, then you will end up with this nice relationship that can be incredibly powerful within physics and other math, too, of course. So let's look at our initial conditions for just a second here. Uh, remember that we decided to use this as though it were the unit circle. OK, it's in the complex plane, but it's, it's the same proportions and the same, the same idea. Uh, that being said, we have this. So z of 0 is equal to 1. And that means that you have this right over here. Okay, And your length, of course, is 1. All right. Now, that's, that's important, because when you have that, you can see that c can't be anything but 1. So we get z equals uh, i uh, e to the iv. And then the derivative of that comes the, the following. And you see that the relationship is always this one here, that you get that and that. Okay, And that's, that's just what it says. Uh, remember the, the radians were this here, the re relationship of that to that. And so it cleans up really nice. And if you're not quite convinced, just remember that if you are looking at the unit circle and you had 0 degrees, that is your place. And as you go around, you get your pi over 2, and then you keep going and get your pi, and you just keep going until you're back to 2 pi or 0. Okay. That's, that's why this works, and it's uh, quite elegant, very, very useful. So we can have uh, two ways now of writing the polar uh, coordinate system. 
this one is it's simply easier you don't have as many strokes with the pen and, and I like that and then you'll start to see it come across in uh, different physics things uh, in electricity and uh, waves all, all kinds of places it's really really useful so all right I hope that helps and I'll see you next time